And welcome back to my channel so today we are filming a very exciting video I have been waiting to film this video for months for years because I just love a haul and I think these hauls are especially exciting and basically I'm gonna be showing you all of the stuff that I have bought for my first year of university for my bedroom for the bathroom and for the kitchen I'm looking at all the stuff here and I'm gonna insert a photo because <laughs> There is a lot and I'm hoping that this video isn't going to be too long. I'm going to try and whiz through it, but we have a lot of stuff to get through basically. However, before we start, this video is very kindly sponsored by The Great Courses Plus. So The Great Courses Plus is a subscription-based video learning service where you can basically watch loads of lectures from top professors at universities all over the world, including Ivy League unis. To be precise, they actually have over 11,000 video lectures on pretty much anything you could think of and anything that interests you, whether that be photography, cooking, science, history. So for example, I'm going to study business at university and to go alongside that, The Great Courses Plus has lectures on things such as critical decision making, entrepreneurship, how to best negotiate a deal. You can stream the lectures on pretty much any device as well, whether that be your TV, your laptop, your phone, whatever takes your fancy. So if you are going on a long journey or you're commuting to work or school, it is a great way to pass the time, but also make a good use of your time. They're also offering a free trial at the moment, which is definitely worth signing up for if you wanna give it a go. So make sure to click the link in the description or I'll put it on screen here to sign up for your free trial today. Okay, now, I don't even know where to start really with this video but um, I feel like bedding is probably a good way to start and the first thing that I actually got is this bedding from Habitat. It is spotty as you can see and I actually have a small double bed I think so this is double bedding because small double bedding doesn't really seem to exist but yeah as I said I got this from Habitat. I thought this was super cute and quite simple but nice and I don't think I'm going to say prices in this video just so it's not super duper long but everything like this I will link down below in the description if you do want to go and have a look. Okay so next I have this throw from Dunelm and this sort of fits in with my theme so my theme for my room is sort of like a blue turquoise kind of theme and this goes on the end of my bed so with that bedding and it is just this super soft throw once again it's a double size and it's not the teddy bear one i was thinking of getting the teddy bear one but i preferred the color of this one the teddy bear one was a bit more green and i wanted more of a blue theme so yeah this is a throw for my end of my bed then i have a few cushions from dunelm as well to go with that so it's not exactly the same color as the throw but i didn't really want the exact same color and i thought these ones were cute this one is once again from dunelm and it's just this sort of like it's not soft but it's fabric if you know what I mean um and yeah this goes really well and I actually got two of those as well because as I said my bed is a small double so I kind of wanted two of each and then one in the middle if that makes sense I'm sorry if I keep shifting about in this video I have to get up to get things there's that much so I'm sorry about that but on to the more boring bedding uh, this is the pillow that I decided to get it is from Dunelm once again and it is the comfort zone pillow i don't know medium support it was 12 pounds it was the comfiest one that i could find if you watch my shopping vlog uh i heavily tested all of the pillows in dunelm and this was my favorite once again i got two of these but the other one is over there somewhere i didn't want to drag them both into the video then the duvet that i went for it's quite hard to show you but it is the 15 tog all seasons one from dunelm and basically it has two duvets it's got a thinner one that you can use for summer and then in winter you can attach them both together and have a thicker one so i thought that was really good then I got a mattress topper from Dunelm as well. This is just the Rebounce mattress topper. I wanted to get a memory foam one, but they were all super expensive. So I just went for this one because it seems all right. It seems fairly thick and yeah, that was only nine pounds as well. Then I also got two sheets as well for my bed. So I've got this sort of bluey one because obviously it goes with my blue theme. And then I've also got a white one. So I have two for when one's in the wash. 
And then I also have a pillowcase sheet, whatever they're called, what are they called? Pillowcase pair? I don't know. Anyway, once again, they're just white because they go underneath the actual pillow cover, so it doesn't really matter what they look like. Okay, <laughs> I have two bags here of stuff that I got from Ikea. I know I've just done all my bedding in an order, but now this is going to get very, very random because I have not sorted through this. It is just all in a bag here, so I'm just going to grab things and show you. So the first thing is this pack of heat mats or whatever you call them. They're just sort of like a cork board and it's basically to put a pan on when it's hot, if that makes sense. And yeah, I just thought this was a worthwhile purchase for the kitchen. Okay, next I have a pretty big pack of cutlery. This is a 24 piece set, which I know is way more than you would ever need, but I really liked them. They have this really cool sort of like bubble handle design thing and I kind of wanted some quirkier cutlery because then it doesn't get mixed in with everyone else's. So I probably won't take all 24 pieces of this to uni with me. I'll probably just leave some at home, but yeah, that is also from Ikea. Then I got some tea towels as well from Ikea. I just have this two pack of this kind of funky design and then this one as well for the kitchen. I then have a frying pan. This is the only pan that I actually bought because my grandma's giving me quite a few pans so I didn't really need to buy many but I did need to buy a frying pan so I got this one from Ikea. Then I got this pack of utensils or whatever they're called. It comes with two spoons, that pasta draining thing, a, a oh my god I'm forgetting the name of all of them. What is that called? A spatula? Is that a spatula? Oh god. Um, and then this little picky up thing oh my god who is letting me live alone <laughs> then I got a wooden spoon as well pretty self-explanatory for cooking I then got this thing for washing up dishes but since then I've actually got those dishmatic washing up liquid dispenser things so I don't know how much use I'm gonna get out of this but this has um like a suction cup on the end so you can actually stand it <laughs> stand it you can stand it up um yeah <laughs> okay then i got a mini cheese grater because i know lots of people say this is really unnecessary but i actually eat cheese a lot and for like cheese omelets and stuff i like to grate the cheese so i thought this was a necessary purchase and it's quite flat like it's not really in the way anywhere so then i got four shot glasses because i feel like that's kind of an essential for uni and they were only 25p each so i got four of them and yeah, they're quite a cute little design as well. Then I got this pot just to put my makeup brushes in, pretty self-explanatory. And then I also got another pot because I'm putting this plant in this pot. And I don't really know where I'm gonna put this plant. I'm thinking like my desk or if I have a bedside table, but I just thought it was super cute. It is fake, don't worry. So I'm not gonna kill it off. But I just thought this would be a cute decoration somewhere in my room. Then I got a little lamp for my bedside table or my desk. I'm not entirely sure what furniture I have yet, so I don't know where I'm going to put any of this, but stay tuned for the room tour when I do move in. It's just this lamp that's sort of a rectangle and it actually glows blue, so it matches all of my bedding and stuff. It looked really nice in the shop. It does not look nice here, but it gave off a really nice glow and I also got some light bulbs to go with that as well. Then I actually got a pack of four glasses and we've gone for a bit of a turquoise theme with all of my kitchen stuff as well so these are the glasses that I got. They are so pretty and I know they look super fragile but they're actually kind of sturdy and there was four of them for five quid so I thought that's pretty good and they're just a really nice shape as well. Okay, on to the next bag of miscellaneous Ikea stuff. So I bought this mug and if you watched my come shopping with me vlog, you'll know that I'm not 100% sure on this mug, but I've bought it now, so here we are. And it's actually a really decent size. Like you can get a big mug of tea in there. So I actually think this is gonna be really useful. Then I got two bowls from Ikea. As I said, I did go with the turquoise theme in the end. So all of my crockery, is that what it's called? Matches, so I just got two bowls. I then just got a glass mixing bowl too. Two smaller blue plates and then two bigger dinner plate kind of size plates. What am I saying? <laughs> I then got a fold up colander because 
obviously you need this for pasta and whatever else you need a colander for <laughs> and I thought I'd get a fold up one because normally they are huge and they take up so much space but I thought this one would fit nicely into the cupboard it doesn't take up too much space or anything I then got a hand towel as well this is once again turquoise to go with my theme here we have another plant uh, this one is slightly less bigger than the other one so it's slightly more practical but once again it's fake so I'm not going to kill it off then I just got this two pack that has a bottle opener in it and a can opener. Just useful stuff really. Then I got this two pack of plastic mixing bowls. There's a smaller one inside it and a bigger one. Not quite sure once again what I'm gonna use this for, but I feel like bowls are just necessary, aren't they? Oh yeah, it's also worth mentioning probably that I am self-catered. So this is why I have slightly more kitchen stuff than someone that is catered. I also have a shared bathroom in my accommodation. So I got this little basket thing that has this wooden handle like this that I can't pull up because of the packaging, but I bought this because I thought it'd be useful if I just put all of my bathroom stuff in here. So my shampoos, conditioners, body washes, blah, blah, blah in this. And then I can just take this to the bathroom with me and I've got everything that I need. And it's like this metal mesh material as well. So if it gets wet, then it'll be fine. I'm really sorry that this isn't going in any particular order, but I then got a chopping board as well. I just got one because I thought I probably don't need more than one, but yeah, this is just a wooden one. And I also got a oven tray as well. Once again, I only got one of these. This is going to be very hard to show you, but I also got a big drying rack from Ikea. I say big, it looks big on camera, but when it folds up, it actually doesn't look that big at all. It's quite small, but yeah got this just to dry my clothes on obviously oh yeah from Dunelm I also got a actual big bath towel as well once again turquoise to go with my theme oh okay I found my dishmatic sponges so I actually first heard about these in Jack Edwards video with Eve Cornwell that he did and basically the handle opens like this and you put the washing up liquid in there and it dispenses it onto the sponge and I just thought that was quite clever. So I've got that for washing up. I actually got three of them. It was a three pack from Amazon. So I just, what happened there? <laughs> then from Primark, I actually got some hangers. So I got this pack of 10 non-slip hangers and they have silver and gray, very nice. And I actually got three packs of these, which means I have 30 hangers. Like that's quite a lot of hangers, but I thought, 10 doesn't seem enough, 20 doesn't seem enough, but then 30 seems a little bit excessive, but we have them anyway. I can always take them back home if I have too many, I suppose. I'm not sure how big my actual wardrobe is either, so I don't know. Okay, I then have two random things from Urban Outfitters because I went in there yesterday with Lizzie and they actually have some really cute homeware bits. Guaranteed it is expensive, but I got two mugs from there. So the first one, is this corgi mug. <laughs> if you don't know already, or if you're new to my channel, I am obsessed with corgis. They are my favorite breed of dog. And I already own quite a few corgi items, but I saw this and I was like, you know what? It's just a necessary purchase. <laughs> uh, so yeah, I don't really know what to say about this, apart from the fact like it's cute. Um, it's got a bit of a weird sort of like opening, if you know what I mean. So I don't know how practical this is actually going to be for cups of tea, but nevertheless, he's very, very cute. <laughs> I then also got this mug from Urban Outfitters. YouTube, please don't demonetize me for showing this, but it has a pair of boobs on it. It's only a drawing, so... I feel like we'll be fine showing this on YouTube. But yeah, this is actually a really decent size mug as well. I really like the shape of it, if that makes sense. That sounds so weird when it just has a pair of boobs on the front of it. But yeah, very cute. I'm gonna put that down now before I lose all of my ad revenue. <laughs> then I got a few bits from Wilco's as well. So I got some command strips. Is that what they're called? Yeah, picture hanging strips. Cause I'm pretty sure that I have a pin board in my room or a notice board, whatever they're called. So I thought I'd get these if I don't want to stick pins through things, but I do want to stick them up there. I then bought an extension lead as well from Wilco's. This is a five meter one actually. So it should be pretty long as well, just in case the plugs in my room aren't in a convenient place. 
Then I bought a pizza tray from Wilco's because obviously I bought that oven tray, but I thought this one is specially made for pizza and I'm probably gonna end up eating quite a lot of pizza at university. So I thought, you know what? Let's just buy it. It's probably gonna get a lot of use. <laughs> Basically everything that I got from Wilco's is what I forgot to get from Ikea. So we have a measuring jug. <laughs> Then I bought three picture frames as well. So I got two five by seven picture frames and then a little smaller one as well. Cause I thought those could go like that and then that could go in the middle if that makes sense. That's very hard to show you just holding them. But yeah, they are just these cute silver ones. I then got a massive pack of batteries because pretty much every video or list that I saw said get batteries. So I've got a huge pack of double A's. I think that's what they're called. Then I also got two command hooks because once again, I saw that lots of people in their uni rooms have one of these stuck on the wall to put their keys on and I thought that was a really good idea. So I got those and it says that they're damage free as well. So hopefully we're not going to be damaging our uni room. <laughs> oh yeah, I also got a pack of silver pins as well in case I do have a notice board or pin board. I'm pretty sure I do. So I can stick things up with those. Once again, apologies for how random the order of the stuff in this video is, but I also got a laundry basket from Dunelm. I forgot to show you, but it is just this white one. And yeah, it's like a woven fabric kind of one. I'm pretty sure this was quite expensive when I looked at the receipt, so. But all of the ones that I saw in Ikea were kind of ugly, and this was the only one that I found that I really liked and went with my room, so kind of had to get it <laughs> okay so the last few things i'm going to show you are completely unnecessary purchases basically and the first one is this makeup mirror so i got this from boots and it's one of those illuminating ones so the ring around here actually lights up and i just thought this was good because i'm pretty sure if i remember rightly the lighting and the accommodation that i'm in is not the best so i wanted this when i'm doing my makeup for a night out or or just when it's dark so I thought this would be useful and I mean I'm gonna keep it for years anyway aren't I even if it's not in my uni room I'm gonna put that there because I'm running out of space on my floor over here so we're just gonna have to deal with that there the last few things that I'm gonna show you are from John Lewis and when I say these are unnecessary they are completely unnecessary but I did buy them anyway the first is this corgi doorstop <laughs> If you've watched Eve Bennett's latest video, which you probably have if you're watching this, her video where she said what she did and what she didn't use at university, she said door starts were completely unnecessary. However, I still bought one <laughs> because um, I don't really have an excuse for this, apart from the fact it's a corgi. She's called Cordelia and um, I think she was a completely necessary purchase, to be honest. And also, the doors in my accommodation, I'm pretty sure, if I remember rightly, are pretty heavy fire doors. So, even if I use this for the kitchen door, it's still, it was necessary, okay? <laughs> then I got a reed diffuser as well for John Lewis. Cannot remember what this actually smells like now, so I can't really give you a description. But it's called Vintage Love, and it's a Scandinavian scent and i just thought it was cute the bottle is really cute as well it has the same pattern as the box does and and lastly i actually got a new alarm clock i say this is unnecessary because i was just going to bring the alarm clock that i have from home but i saw this and i thought it'd look really nice as a decoration as well so it's this digital one and i don't really have much to say about this it's an led display and yeah i think that's about it but yeah got a new alarm clock Okay, I really hope that is everything that I was supposed to show you in this video. I'm looking around and I'm pretty sure that I did show you everything. It is worth saying, I probably should have said this at the start of the video, that you probably shouldn't use this as a packing list. <laughs> I know that I haven't got absolutely everything that I need. This is the majority of stuff that I need, but it's not everything yet, so don't use this as a packing list. <laughs> However, I hope that you enjoyed this video. I had a lot of fun filming this and now I actually need to put all of this back but if you did enjoy, make sure to give it a like, subscribe, and, and also follow my social media, which will be linked down below in the description. Bye, guys.